Welcome to the new F5 web application firewall tester. This tester tool is something that will allow you to verify that your web app firewall policy is up to par. What we're going to do today is we're going to just walk through and show you how this can be used. What we have set up here is a F5 Big IP running a recent version of Big IP. This happens to be running 14.1. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate how we can run the policy verify tool um, against a virtual server um, that has a security policy applied to it. In this case, we've got the DVWA brute force policy in blocking mode set to uh, run on our virtual server. Installing this is actually fairly simple. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the Dev Central, the F5 Dev Central uh, Git repository, and that's where we store it. And so you can get the latest version from here. But the beauty is we actually have an installation component built right into it. So if you look at the repository, it gives you the steps that you need to do. So you're just going to need Python, in this case, anything later than 2.7. Um, and we're going to make sure that we've got Python installed. It takes a few moments to install Python on a new Ubuntu 18 box here. And then once we've got that installed and everything's good, we're actually going to go ahead and install the actual web app firewall tester tool. And that's just been done easily here with the, with the Python pip tool. It installs it into a local folder underneath the user who installed it. So there's a .local folder that gets created. Um, and inside the bin folder, there's the WAF tester tool. To run it the first time, what we're going to do is we initialize it. So this is all in the readme, and it'll walk you through the different settings. But here we're going to ensure that we can actually get to the big IP. Um, and inside this, we actually get, uh, allows us to actually uh, see the policy itself. And once we've got it configed, um, we, then we're just going to run it. It only takes a few moments to run it. And we'll run a bunch of tests and, and then we get some output with this. By default, it puts it in this report.json file that's in our uh, current directory. And inside of here, we can see the different signatures that were ran and whether they they were passed uh, or whether they failed. And if they pass, it means we were received a blocking page because the policy was in blocking and that signature was in blocking mode wasn't in staging or some other thing, or maybe it wasn't there. So at the end of this, we now have a test that we can go back and find a report to determine which policy components we need to change. Do we need to take some things out of staging? Do we need to add some signatures? And you can go ahead and add your own tests to there if you, if you like as well, and modify the tests. Thanks very much for your time. I hope you found this useful. Please submit your comments below or any issues in the GitHub repo. Thanks for watching.